La ilaha ilaha La ilaha ilaha La ilaha ilaha Neither space nor air is the reality. Neither earth nor fire is the reality. If there's only the timeless one, all is Shiva. Which then is the cloud and which is the rain? The question was a question. If there's no distinction, distinction between a thought image and the world. If there's no distinction between a thought image and the gods. If there's only the timeless one, all is Shiva. How then could there be a distinction between the real and the unreal? There's no distinction between the living and the dead. There's no distinction between alike and different. If there's only the timeless one, all is Shiva. How then could one speak of going or coming? Mm -hmm. They give it to me. <coughs> <coughs> so the Avaduta is saying like that, no? that neither space nor air is the reality. It's touching like that. Neither space. Space is the most subtle of the elements. <coughs> the most subtle. <coughs> And very often in the higher expressions of in the spiritual discourses, <clears throat> you notice the language is moving away from kind of concrete forms, becoming more ethereal, more light. So words like space and air and the elements, they start to speak only now the the the, the elements also. Fire, water, air, ether, space. There is no. Neither space nor air is the reality. Neither earth nor fire is the reality. If there is only the limitless one, all is Shiva. If there is only the limitless one, <coughs> only the limitless one. <coughs> All is Shiva. Shiva, pure consciousness. Shiva means pure consciousness. No? So neither here space nor air is the reality. Neither earth nor fire is the reality. If there is only the limitless one, all is a Shiva. Which then is the cloud and which is the rain? If there is only the limitless one, you see. Who is he speaking to also? Who is he speaking to? Who is speaking? 
If there's only the limitless one, it must be the limitless one is speaking to the limitless one, mm-hmm. isn't it? Otherwise, how this conversation? Who is explaining about the limitless one? The limited one. <laughs> so it has to be the limitless one, is simply uttering like that out of its own <coughs> out of its own joy. <clears throat> the next one it says, if there is no distinction between a thought image and the world. Hmm? So he's already speaking, assuming no, we didn't discuss this. We didn't discuss it, didn't ask you what you think about it. He says, if there's no distinction between thought image and the world, what could it mean like that? No distinction, it means that thought image and the world must be the same thing. If there is no distinction between thought image and the gods even, so even the gods are some kind of thought, they are some form of image. Then some people start to get uncomfortable, you see. So even the gods, they are themselves also uh, formed out of thought. From the perspective of the sage, no? he is saying like that. So if there is no distinction between a thought image and the gods, if there is only the limitless one, all is Shiva. So if there is only the limitless one, all is Shiva consciousness, all is consciousness only, all is forms of consciousness only, <coughs> appearing as a variety, but all of them somehow the ashes of all of them is the same thing. The DNA of all the appearances must be Shiva. And this is if you are followed that. Hmm? How then could there be a distinction between the real and the real and the unreal? Where would this, where would even the notion of real and unreal even end it? What's the distinction there? If it is if it is understood in the heart that only the Shiva being is only. Only pure consciousness is. Let's try for a moment and say, like this: no? only pure consciousness, only pure awareness is there. So therefore, every thought is awareness only playing. Every form is only uh, awareness. Every person, every religion, every gesture, every action. All time, regions of time, past, present, future, thousands of years ago, millions of years in the future, it's all thought. Let's play this game for a moment then. It's all thought. You and me, all thought. This and that, oh, it's only thought. Meditation and sadhana, practice and prayer, it's all thought. Coming nearer, nearer, nearer to God. It's just thought. There's only the limitless one. Hmm? We want to continue? Play. <laughs> so, so all play also is the limitless one. The fact and the fiction. Oh no, no, they're all the limitless one. The limitless one is appearing as this thing and that thing. Husband and wife, you and me, master, disciple, the different religions, the different regions of time and the different lokas, all of these things, the different regions of space, the planets, UFOs and beings living in the sea, all of them, all of them is only the limitless one. Nice? <laughs> Now, there is no distinction between the living and the dead. <gasps> there is no, now we also are going, has he gone too far now? There is no distinction between the living and the dead. How can you say that, things like this? Because what is called life is only the limitless one. Death is only the limitless one. It's all thought. Mm. 
There is no distinction between alike and different. Same, same, different, different. No, it's nothing, nothing. It's all a little bit less one. This one is very near, or oh, that one is very far. No, no, this doesn't depress it. All a little bit less one. <laughs> so, hmm? If there is only the limitless one, all is Shiva, all is Shiva being, all is Shiva consciousness. <clears throat> How then could one speak of going and coming, going or coming? So when we say, oh, sometimes I find that I'm really, when I'm really focused in my meditation, and I'm sitting here, and there's only the one. Well, there's only the one. Where's the two? <laughs> Sometimes I feel very near and one with God. Another time I feel so separate. Yes, it's okay. It's all a limitless one today. <laughs> Coming and going, living and dying, heaven and hell. Heaven and hell. <coughs> oh, no, it's all a limitless one. <laughs> <laughs> we draw a line, we create a sense of limitation. Hmm? Limitation and limitless all the same, it's all the same, the limitless one. <laughs> Should we go on? Well, going on or stopping is all the same. <laughs> it's all the limitless one. <laughs> more and more of the limitless one. <laughs> it's a nice game. <laughs> it's a very nice game, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gods and the demons. <gasps> All the limitless ones. <laughs> Good and evil. No, there's only the limitless one. <laughs> <laughs> Praising God, cursing God. <laughs> oh no, it's all a little bit. Feel a bit uncomfortable. It's a little bit one. But such things as blasphemy, you know? Uh, no, it's a limitless one. I don't agree. I agree. No, it's all the limitless one. Holy Shiva, oh no. I'm just not able to concentrate. <laughs> Sometimes I try to meditate, my mind just goes crazy. It's okay, it's all the limitless one. <laughs> I used to feel so close with God, but now I feel like I'm really lost. It's okay. <laughs> it's all the limitless one. Huh? You read it, no? I gave it to you and you read it. The limitless one read it. <laughs> my best friend, my worst enemy. Ah. It's all the limitless one. Then what remains with you? <laughs> 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 
Je vais te l'asseoir. It is very difficult to understand such things. Doesn't matter. So <laughs> You see, when we speak like that, <coughs> what is the point of the sage speaking like that? It completely nullifies all our fragmented thinking. We feel we have a right somehow, because uh, we're in uh, somehow we say the domain of duality. Duality, non-duality is. <laughs> Instant happiness. <laughs> Instant happiness. Because otherwise, mind is trying to, to yeah, you know, look, you know, but uh, you don't. That just sounds very nice, but you know that you have a responsibility, and you have to try, and it's not easy, you know. It makes it sound easy, but it's not easy. You know how difficult it is. What is it? The limitless one is playing as the mind, trying to trick the limitless one. And both the, the trickster and the limitless one is the same limitless one. A thought comes, something is wrong with this. Because this is too easy. Oh, this is not my experience. It's okay. <laughs> That's exactly what the limitless one wants to say right now. It is not my experience. Sorry, I don't, just, I don't agree. You're all laughing like you're all enjoying yourself. But you'll soon be, you'll soon, you'll soon, be, you'll soon be, be down again. It's okay. Because best satsang. So today, uh, the limitless one inspired. Go and get the Avaduta Gita. I want to say something about myself, and I want to tell this to myself. <laughs> because it's been a long time that I've said something like this to myself. Because very often I say I can say complicated things. I made all these things out of myself and made them appear to be very different from each other. And they'll fight with each other. But today I want to say something to myself to make myself very happy again. Neither space nor air is the reality, neither earth nor fire is the reality. If there is only the, the limitless one, all is Shiva. Which then is the cloud and which is the rain? Or any other type? Where is their where is their meaningful distinction? Yes, but you know, a mosquito and a butterfly are very different. Yes, yes. All of them are the <laughs> yes. Then mine says, but this is crazy because it leaves me with nothing to do. How can I? Uh, 
you know, you have to overcome. You have to fight, you have to meditate, you have to discern between what is good and what is bad. You cannot just just throw some blanket over everything and then say it's all a limitless one. <laughs> It's just not fair. <laughs> you know how much energy has gone into taking this life so seriously? And you are coming along and talk about everything is a limitless one. Have you no know, have you no know respect for my hardship? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, this joke will soon be over. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh my God. Are you? I, I'm staying. <laughs> I'm permanent resident. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Why? Because. <laughs> Thy love, thy love.